Hello, welcome to another video. Let's do definition of the derivative again on this function x sine x. So typically you will use the product rule, but let's see if we can use the definition of the derivative and arrive at the same answer. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we obey this rule that it's going to be f of x plus h minus f of x. So what is f of x plus h? So we're going to say, oh, here, come on, f prime of x will be equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of, now, what's the function? It's x sine x, but this is x plus h, so we're going to replace x with x plus h. And we're going to multiply it by sine x plus h. Nice, minus f of x, which is just x sine x. Let's write x sine x. x sine x divided by h. Okay, now what's left is just simplification. I'm going to distribute this actually, so let's rewrite this out. Should we do that? You know what, not yet. I think this is the first thing we want to write out. We want to use the, the sine of a sum of angles, which will be sine x cosine h plus cosine x sine h. So our answer here, our next line is going to be the limit as h goes to 0 of, let's see how this writes out. It writes out as x plus h multiplied by, this is now going to be sine x cos h plus cos x sine h minus x sine x. Okay, I'm just going to squeeze it that way and then you have your h. So now I am going to write this out by distributing this over each of these, okay? It's going to be a long one. Let's see what it looks like. So we're going to have f prime of x is going to be equal to x times this will be x sine x cos h. So it's going to be the limit as h goes to 0 over x sine x cos h. So it's going to be x sine x cosine h. Let's go. The next one will be x times this will be x cos x plus x cosine x sine h. Okay. I know there's, there's so many things to write, so I'm trying to manage the space. And here we're going to have h times this, which is h sine x cos h plus h sine x cosine h. And then h times this will be h cos x plus h cos x sine h. Nice. Then this one, minus x sine x. Okay all divided by h. Now, what's the strategy here? Should I simplify the top first before I do what I want to do? Mm, we shall see. <laughs> for now, what I want to do is look for which portions of this will help me use this. Look at this. Remember, the limit as h goes to 0, let's use theta, as theta goes to 0 of sine theta over theta will be equal to 1. So what I want to do first is everything that has sine h on top, I want to deal with it first because that way I can say they all go to 1. Okay? So I know this doesn't have sine h. I, I, need, I need something that has sine h so I can use this identity with it. Uh, this has sine h. This has sine h. So these two definitely will give me something I can easily simplify. And then I can deal with the rest later, okay? And another identity I may want to look for, look, this one has x sine x, and there's a minus, and the only identity that's close to that is the limit as theta goes to zero of cosine theta minus one over theta. We know this will go to zero. So if I can create this, create this, I'll be brilliant. <laughs> okay, so firstly, I found two. I found this and I found this. 
but I need this minus to be combined with some cosine, and this is sine, it has to be cosine h, so I need to find a cosine h. Oh, there's a cosine h here. Oh, this is perfect. There's a cosine, but I need x. Mm. This one. x times, if I take out the sine x, I have x times cosine h. If I take out the sine x, I have x here, and I can take out the x sine x, I'm going to have one left. That's it. So I have to combine this with this. I have to take care of this by itself, because it has sine h, take care of this by itself, and this is the only guy that might stay on its own. Oh, the h will cancel out. Everything is simplified. So let's rewrite this in a very nice way. The limit as h goes to zero. So I'm gonna combine this first term with the last term and factor out the x sine x. So I'm gonna have x sine x. And on the inside, I'm gonna have the cosine of h minus one. You see that this will give me this back and this times this is gonna give me that term. So I've taken care of the first and the last terms and I'm going to divide this. Since everything is divided by h, I'm gonna put h here. Now I go to the next one. This one, I'm gonna write it as plus x cosine x multiplied by sine h over h. This one goes here. Remember, every term has to be divided by h. It divides everything because they are linear combinations. So, the next one, plus. So, I've taken care of this. I'm going to cancel out the ones I've taken care of. This is taken care of. This is taken care of. I just took care of x cosine x sine h. This one is taken care of. So, now I need to take care of this one. But if I write this out, it's going to look like this. h sine x cosine h over h, and then I'm going to have the same thing here. What? Plus h cosine x sine h divided by h. <laughs> Sorry, the way I'm writing, the space is small. So what do we have? Well, I know that this, well, this limit is going to go to zero, so this is going to be, this goes to zero. Cosine h minus 1 over h, as h goes to 0, is going to be 0. So this is going to be true of it. I'm going to end up with the limit as h goes to 0 of um, x sine x times 0, because this goes to 0. Okay? Plus, let's see. This h stays there, but this goes to 1, so it's going to be x cosine x times 1. Plus, this h will cancel this h, so what you have left is sine x times cosine h plus, and this h will cancel this h, we can have cosine x times sine h. Nice. And all the h's are gone. So, this is the limit we're dealing with. Okay. What do you think we get? Well, zero times anything is zero, so this gives us zero. If we take the limit as h goes to zero of this, well, there's no h here, so the answer is just x cosine x. As h goes to zero, cosine of zero is one. What is one times sine x? It's sine x. And as h goes to 0, sine h will be 0. 0 times this is 0. So look, look at what our answer looks like. It is 0 plus this plus this. Our answer is x cosine x plus sine x. That's f prime of x. And this is what you're supposed to get any day, any time. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.